Why do I feel like we're about to get into more trouble again? Cause we are! Number one, hi, my name is Megan Batoon. I'm pretty much an interior designer at this point and I'm not stopping anytime soon. My arm already hurts. This will be better for all those of you that have vertigo. Okay, yes, hi, we're here. Where do I even begin? I just recently did my living room wall. It is beautiful, so beautiful that the window next to it is no longer as beautiful. I've lived in this house for what feels like seven years and now with quarantine, 17, but I feel like I've grown up and I've grown out of the style that I initially had in it. It was a really cold builder grade house. These are some of the pictures from when I first bought it. It looked like a South Beach bachelor pad. No offense to bachelors or South Beach, but that's neither of what I am or where I live. So now I need my space to reflect who I am now, which is apparently a French mom. Hi! I'm a French mom. So now the project, living room part two, are these windows. So I currently have these linen curtains on a wooden tension curtain rod. And this is what's behind curtain number one, a dirty ass window. I have not washed this window since I've lived here and you can tell. Lately, a lot of my friends have been asking me to help with their spaces and it is my favorite thing to do. Usually when my friends ask me that, I draw up some sort of like Photoshop document with links and everything. But lately I've been getting into doing renderings. Here's some of the renderings I did for my friend Philip's office. I was gonna tell you what I was gonna do but why don't I just show you with a rendering what I'm gonna do here is create a grid style window with some thin PVC piping I'll paint it black to match with the existing encasement I'm gonna keep the curtains so that it creates some sort of softness in between the brick and the fresco I'm just gonna pop it up a couple of feet so it elongates the height of the room. And I'm also gonna span them the entire width of the window and also a little bit more so that it creates this illusion that the windows are larger than they actually are. I don't know what my fascination is with gridded windows, but my entire Pinterest board has so many of these because I think they're so quaint and classy and sophisticated. Oh my God, I feel like I'm in love. From a window! This is why I'm gonna be single forever. As long as I got these four walls. Oh, here's a fun fact that probably nobody cares about. So Munton windows just stepped on paint. Hello, yes. All the way on my foot. Munton windows, AKA gridded windows, until the mid 19th century, you're like required to use these because it was cheaper to make smaller planes of glass. Planes of glass? Panes of glass. Okay, uh, you know what? Yeah, it was cheaper and now it's not. And now we're going back to our basics. Let's go. Today might be the best day of my life. Aside from the fact that I just had a breakdown because I spilt a bunch of black paint, I am getting my dream windows. And by getting, I'm making. Here's where we're at with our lives. We've taped out our template on the windows. Oh my God, does this look like I'm in a movie, but like I'm the wife that died? This is the flashback. I don't know why they're always laughing. This is what I have right now. This is all the PVC pipe that has been painted both sides front and back because I'm gonna be doing both sides of the window. Sliding miter saw, and there we go, the most important tool of all. It's recording. They can tell it's recording because I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I really believe in this. I almost think it's foolproof. I shouldn't have said that. There's a fool here. Yeah. <laughs> Love that I didn't use a coaster, I just put this next to the coasters. Why that? <laughs> Why? All we really have to do is replace the painter's tape with the PVC pipe, cut it to the right dimensions, and then seal it after. Even if I mess up during, it always ends up being fine. This is supposed to be eight feet exactly. Okay, well, it's long. Hang on, 88.5 exactly. I wanna do one first, just in case I mess up. Hello? The viewers know that I've done this before, but I think you might be nervous because- I'm always nervous, I've been nervous. I know, you think I'm a rat. Summer 87. <laughs> You bought a fire extinguisher because you're nervous that I would burn my house down. There's fires in kitchens. Yeah, especially by there. Don't be nervous. I've done this before, okay? Okay. I was going to make a joke and scream, but then I was like, I probably would cut my finger off. Come on! All right, let's see if it fits. Does it? Oh my god. Yeah! We back. Okay, so we had a little bit too much allowance. 
and I'm gonna cut a little bit more. I think it's perfect. It's so perfect that I'll have to tap it in so it'll be like really sturdy. These are all different sizes. Those are indeed different. Yeah, they're not the <laughs> same. How about from here, we just fix our mistakes with call. Here's my thought process. I think I'll take off all of these. Since it's a sliding door, I can slide it, and then the back door becomes almost a little stencil. Obviously, it's not lined up, but you can start to see like where this should be. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. This feels like it's like gonna perpetually be dirty forever because I waited so long to clean it. This is its natural form now? Yeah, it's like, this is who we are. Like, don't try and change us. I'm tired already, I haven't done anything. Well, good thing we're like almost done, so good. I'm gonna use a uh, double-sided tape to put it in place and see if I like it, and then I'm gonna use really heavy-duty super glue. Everyone in the comments, it's like, can you use super glue on a window and like the resale value and blah, blah, blah. Yes, I saw that this Loctite, LOL at my nails being completely black. No, it's honestly too gross to talk about. This super glue is apparently really good on glass and no. <laughs> really good on glass, not really that great on a coffee cup lid. It's all on. Here comes the first piece of our puzzle. This is in the center. Boom. Oh my god, 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 I might cry today. I mean, I cry every day, but this time it's gonna be for something beautiful. Ah! Look at you. Using that brain, being sustainable, all that. The same time, look! I said, look at it! It looks amazing. Why are you laughing? It does look amazing. You're just like, look, stop filming me. Look at the tape. I know why everything was off. Look at this. Numbers don't lie. Measuring tape does. Can you see that there's like an extra little thing before it starts? You know what that is? Sabotage. Skosh. That's what I'm saying. Like you have to add a skosh to everything that you measure. I can't believe I can't trust anything. currently are. Let's recap what just happened. Before I knew anything, I put the sealant in the cracks. I was trying to fill the gaps in. I didn't know that that was not the right thing to do, so I ended up having to scrape it off with my fingernails and go back to square one. I took joint compound and covered the cross section of the horizontal and vertical lines. Now I'm gonna clean up the mess that I made. I have goo gone that's literally gone. It's goo gone. It's super fine and I wanna get really precise in these crevices, so I'm going to use Q-tips. Ooh, what do you know, me cleaning more windows. I did not put this together before I started this DIY. I've never cleaned these windows in my entire life of living here. Now I've gotta clean 40 windows anytime these get dirty. So that's something to keep in mind. You're gonna double your workload if you have these, but it will be worth it. Now that I've cleaned off all the residue and sanded the joint compound, I was trying to figure out the best way to paint the cross point, and this is what I came up with. I put four pieces of computer paper around the joint and I was gonna spray paint with the same spray paint that I used in the beginning so it would be seamless and match perfectly. And it worked in the beginning because I went to continue to do it on all the other ones and then I had paper falling. It was just a lot more work than it was worth, so I ended up just taking a normal paint brush and doing it by hand anyway. And that was actually better because then I could see closer any of the parts of paint that I had wiped off with Goo Gone. Doing that on both sides of the doors and then... Oh my God! Are you seeing this? Wow, oh, I missed a spot. Just don't stand there and it won't be an issue. This is the best thing I've ever done. Would like to go on the record. obsessed. I can't, I can't stop looking at these. Here's what's important, is that when you're walking up the stairs, the first thing you see, oh, it's gonna be the windows. Stop. Full stop. Ugh, hello. This is the YouTuber version of moving a mic stand. No matter where you are, these sing. I can't, I have to just keep looking at them. I've gotta go.